hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created post activity api call in our spring boot application and in today's video we will create api call to get all activities and after this we will test this post activity api call and at the end we will test get activities api call as well so let's get started so in our spring boot application first of all we will test this post activity api call and to do this we will run our spring boot application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors now let's go to the postman and let's test our post activity api and in the postman for request type we will give it as post and after this we need to give the basic url which is http localhost 8080 and after this we need to give the controller url which is slash api and after this we need to give the endpoint url which is slash activity and after this we will click on this body tab and from these options we will select raw and after this we need to pass the data and first of all i will give the steps as 10000 and after the steps i will give distance as 7.5 and after the distance i will give the date as 12 and after the date i will give calories burned as 500 and now let's click on this send button to call the api and as you can see we got the response status 201 created and in the response body we can see the created activity where we have the id assigned one and now let's go back to our spring boot application and let's create get all activities api and in our spring boot application we will open activity service implementation and in this class we will start writing a new method and this method will return a list of activity dto and we will name this method as get all activities and in the body of this method we will create a list of activities and we will import this activity from fitness tracker server dot entity and after this we will name this list as activities and after this we will use activity repository and we will call a method find all and after getting the activities we need to convert them to the activity dto and to do this we will write a return statement and after this we will use activities and we will apply stream and after this we will call map method and in this map method we will get the activity and we will call get activity dto method and as you already know we created this get activity dto method to convert the activity entity to the activity dto and now let's go back to our activity service implementation and after this we will collect this to list and with this our get activities method is completed in activity service implementation now let's copy this and let's open activity service and let's mention this here and after this we need to create an endpoint to call this method so we will open activity controller and in this class we will start writing a new method and this method will return response entity and we will name this method as get activities and in the body of this method we will write a try block and in this try block we will write a return statement and after this we will use response entity and we will call ok method and in this we will use activity service and we will call a method get activities and after this we will write the catch block as well and in this we will catch exception and we will name this as e and after this to return the internal server error we will copy this line and we will paste this here and at the end we will annotate this method with at the rate get mapping annotation and for the url we will set it as slash activities and with this our get activities api is completed now let's run our application again and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors now let's go to the postman and let's test our get activities api call 
and in the postman before testing get activities api let's create another activity and in this activity for the steps i will give it as 2000 and after this for the distance i will give it as 14.5 and after this for the calories i will give it as 900 and now let's click on this send button and as you can see we got the response 201 created and the id of this activity is 2 and after this let's create a new request and in this request for the type we will give it as get and after this we need to give the basic url so we will write http localhost 8080 and after this we need to give the controller url which is slash api and after this we need to give the endpoint url which is slash activities and now let's click on this send button and as you can see we got the response and the status is 200 ok and in the response body we got a list and in this list we got activity objects and for this response we got two activities which we just created and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create a new angular application and we will install the ui library as well